Hi there. Just like we had to do the testing of our application with different set of data, we got to do the same with API as well. So how can we do that in Postman? So at least there are three ways you can do that. One is by making copy of, of your request and then supplying different data in each, each of the requests, which is a redundant work and which means that tomorrow the, its maintenance would be harder. The other option that we have is with the help of collection runner, we can supply data from external files like CSV and JSON. The third option we have is we provide the data from the pre-request script to our request. Okay. So in this particular video, we are going to see the agenda item number two. And in the next video, we are going to cover the point number three. Okay. So I hope you have watched a couple of videos before uh, moving on to this one. So one is your Postman variables because uh, therein I have explained about the syntax that is to open curly brackets and close curly brackets, right? So that's one. You might have also seen the HTTP post video because is in, in this example, I'm going to use those concepts. Okay, so in a post request, what do we do is we provide a body in a JSON document format, something like this. Okay, but when you are supplying the data from the outside, so instead of passing on these hard coded values, we are going to read data from our external JSON file. And in the body section, this is the syntax that we are going to use. Okay, I'll also show you what syntax we have to use in the pre-request script and the test sections when we have to refer to our variables from the data files okay because that's the only piece that was not covered into our last video on postman variables because i wanted to cover that here okay and this is the sample data that i'm going to pick you could see that there are two objects that i'm trying to post into my database and we'll check that into the database at the end and because I have to supply two objects so I'm passing on these documents inside a list so this is an array okay let's now move on to our postman and check that out so this is the object that I'm going to post into the object but this time I'm going to provide data to this request from external CSV file so what I have done is I'm using Visual Studio, which is free and open source. Anybody can download and use it. The advantage that it offers to you is anytime you make a make an error right in creating the JSON file. So it immediately shouts at you, for example, just to prove it. So this is one object and this is another object. All right. Now you see that I have not used the comma after first object. And it is telling me there is some problem there's one more site which you can use is you can go to this json lint and enter in your data here and check that it is a valid json so once you're sure that it's a valid json i'm gonna copy this data just in the interest of time i'm going to paste that into my file i'm going to save this okay the other thing that we have to do is now replace the static value with data from the file okay so i'm going to replace all the existing value with this and now what has to go inside these so as you could see that here this is the key and this is the value so i'm going to read the value on the basis of a key and name type speed span is this only so i can copy from here only and it will work okay now this is about how to use the iteration data variables in the body how can we use those into our tests so and again i love this feature which is introduced today only so all we will do is this intelligence console dot log and then 
now you don't even need to remember those pm dot iteration data it's there dot get again the method is there and the moment you do this it this intelligence will tell you i have to provide the name of the variable the first one was name right so now let me just the copy paste uh, and i mistakenly hit the enter button but that's fine uh, nothing has happened so let me go to my body and copy this type this was speed and this was lifespan okay let me hit the save button to save this go to my collection runner hope you have seen my collection runner video and let's wait for this to open up i hope one day postman can improve the performance of this as well uh, we do not have any dependency on the environment uh, so this is the file that we have to pick select file from my data.json make sure that you always click on the preview so you see that in the first iteration this is the body that we are going to send it is in the second iteration this is the body that we are going to send and in the test script what we are doing is we are logging these values onto the console so console is also open for us i've already opened this let me clear this and run this so this is created this is created and let's check what is being sent in the body so first time rabbit is being sent now click on this and second time lion is being sent great amazing so now let's check whether those records are there into my database yes they are let me delete these again i would like to keep my database clean uh, so those records are deleted uh, let's uh, no, nothing to do with this video but just i want to clean up my database and let's check into the console as well so see rabbit this this and this this is what we passed on from our json file All right so now you see that how you can read the val these these variables uh from the script section and how you can read those from your body section okay now let's do one thing let's do the same with a csv file and i'm going to create a new file in here not this one and it's going to be a text and data dot csv hope i can open that in here and to do is there's a data name type speed lifespan name type speed lifespan all comma separated now i have to pass in the values so let me quickly copy these values i think you get the point so let me just pick one value so let me save that and go to my collection runner and instead of this file let me read the other file data.csv and let me preview it so only one record is there okay so i previously created rabbit right so that i can show you that it is working with csv as well click on run data so one record let's see whether it is created yeah so rabbit is created so that's how you are going to use your external data file to supply to your request all right great thank you so much thanks for watching see you in the next video